Good morning, beautiful, beautiful souls. We are living in such an amazing time now. You know, I was sharing with my students last night at how wonderful this time is, but also it's challenging at the same time. But you know, in this time, it's very important that you realize that everything is manifesting very, very quickly into form and being. It means that you have to take full responsibility now for all your life, but also for your thoughts and for your words and for your actions. You know, if you get up in the morning and you've got a long list and you think, oh, you know, how am I going to get through this day? You know, and then you start already being in a negative frame of mind. You start drawing exactly the things into your life that you don't want to draw in. You know, I always start the morning with meditation, but I also start it with profound prayer. If you do not have that divine connection in your life, then you are going to get into that morning and you are already at the back foot instead of being at the front foot for the rest of this day. It also means to get that upper channels open so that you are an absolutely crystal clear transmitted channel for the divine. That is so important. It's cleaning those chakras, it's cleaning the spine, it's cleaning the whole energy system, which also includes your physical, your emotional, your mental and spiritual bodies and forms. There are many techniques of doing this. I'm not going to go in that. I teach it in my lessons. But what, what really is of essence is here is that you can actually manifest the life that you truly wish to live in the here and now. Not in the future, but in the here and now. For the future is now created. You are creating that new future for yourself in the here and now. So get crystal clear about what it is that you really want to create. You know, I know that there's all these reports that come about sun flares and about this and that and the next thing is going to happen. You know, in spite of that, a master is a master of its own life. If you get up in the morning and you read and you say, oh my goodness, this is going to now affect me, then it is going to affect you. But if you are in that bubble of absolute divine light and love, then you simply will not absorb whatever is in it because you are the master of your life. I don't say that you won't have bodily symptoms or that you won't feel it in some form or way, but if we expect it, then you will draw it into your life. Just be careful about that. If you are always held in the divine love and light and love, and power and wisdom that is already within you because the kingdom of heaven is within you then what is missing nothing is missing and you also then bring that beautiful prayer into your life which i say every morning i ask that i'll be used as a crystal clear authentic truthful loving transmitter for the divine the source the prime creator but also in the most loving way so that i am and this is my affirmation i am lovingly serving with joy <laughs> if you lovingly serve with joy then they can only manifest joy in your life and if things do happen, then just for that moment, instead of immediately reacting and getting your emotions out of tis, the rest of you, your central nervous system totally out of zinc, breathe deeply, get back to your core. And then ask, what is this teaching me? What is this meaning? And then immediately reconnect to the core, the truth within yourself, that love that your truth are, and that beautiful bubble of light that you are in. And in that deep breathing, get back to your core and affirm that all of this is working out in the highest and best ways for the highest good of all concerned. And then release it. 
You don't always need to know the outcome. But if you believe that all of this is going to work out in the highest and best ways for the highest good of all, then you allow everything to fall into place as it is. Because you can't change a person. You can't change anything that's outside yourself. You can only change yourself and the way that you react to it. You know, I have seen that in dire circumstances, when things really get tough, those light workers step to the fore and they are then at their best. Not because the challenges are not there, but because in the challenges, their light shines all the brighter. Their love comes to the fore. That strength and that courage and that fortitude that they didn't even know they had in within them comes to the fore. The loving heart. Isn't it amazing how people's heart opened? You can see it when, when this happened just lately, how hearts open, how people help. <laughs> and I read a beautiful piece the other day that just came through on Facebook feed, and it was just so important. They said that during this whole thing about all these hurricanes and what happened, they realized that all the things that they hoarded, all the food that they hoarded, all the things that they put in the bunkers were null and void. What was really important was that they could help and share and help one another in that time of need. And you know what? This is what we need. And how many people walk through life and they're not conscious of all the joys that are already in life? You know, when I'm out in the country and I see flowers, they bring joy. When I go and hug a tree, it brings joy. When I look at the ocean and the waves and, the, and, and just all the beauty of Mother Earth, that brings joy, that brings love. The laughter of a child. You know, there's so much around us that can, we can be grateful for every single day. And the more grateful you become, the more blessings you bring into life. And you are allowed to ask for those blessings. I'm going to give a webinar in two weeks' time where I go into abundance consciousness and what in truth it is. Because it gives me joy to share my own journey into realizing what it is. Abundance is something that is deep inside of you. But most of us always see the lack instead of seeing what is already there. It's the old programming that now needs to be released. The deep healing of the mother and the father. The deep healing of what we were always told we were, which was not the truth. It's time to love yourself so much that every morning when you get up, you'll confirm the beauty and majesty of your own soul. You will confirm the joy that life brings the love that is already present within you.
That is what illumination means. That's what is enlightenment means. That you are lit up from within. That that light and love radiates out from you. And it, in an alchemical process, transforms everything. And everyone you meet, even if you are not conscious of it. Because that's the truth of who you are. Imagine that. You don't even need to open your mouth. Your whole energy fields speak for themselves. That is mastery. <laughs> I had a beautiful, beautiful experience the other morning when I was doing my meditation. And that great master avatar, Babaji, appeared to me. The immortal one. And he appeared in, in, in that lotus position that he's sometimes depicted in. I first came across him when I was reading Yogananda's biography years ago. And I connected with him there, but you know, sometimes we get our life paths, etc. And lately, he's really been reconnecting with humanity in a great way. Because he's holding the love steady for humanity. in this great transition and great transfiguration. He didn't say a word. But then that whole energy that he holds, which is magnificent, it goes beyond description. He beamed into here, my third eye, into my heart and into the base and sacrals, the lower part, the bodies, the chakras. It was the most amazing moment where I understood what illumination and enlightenment really means. That's not to say he's not the only master that can do that. Every master has that. The ascended masters. It transcends all religions. It is the highest form of oneness that there is. It is a state of pure light and love, of power and wisdom. That is what illumination is all about. Thank you.